Fox News is your local election headquarters. Tonight, we're bringing you results from our exclusive Eyewitness News, Roger Williams University poll. We're just eight days away from the election, and our exclusive poll finds incumbent Gina Raimondo has expanded her lead in the governor's race. Our poll finds if the election were held today, 45% of voters would choose Governor Raimondo, and 34% say Republican Alan Fung. 9% chose independent Joe Trillo, 8% aren't sure. Three other candidates each polled under 2%. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White joins us now live in studio. Tim, the numbers for the first time show a double-digit lead for Gina Raimondo. Yeah, Mike and Shannon, some of that is because for the first time this election season, Raimondo is now pulling more support from male voters, leading Fung with men by 7%. In our poll last month, it was Fung who held that seven-digit lead with males. In our fourth poll of 2018, Eyewitness News and Roger Williams University asked 416 likely voters to weigh in on the governor's race. Governor Gina Raimondo has opened an 11-point lead over Republican challenger Alan Fung. She had a 7-point lead in our poll last month. The explanation could lie in favorability ratings. 46% of voters have a favorable opinion of Fung, 45% unfavorable. And the other key group is the independent voters. Eyewitness News political analyst and pollster Joe Fleming said, as Fung's unfavorable numbers have jumped. There's been an awful lot of negative ads on Alan Fung in the last month and a half. Uh, we've seen the Democratic Governors Association, we've seen the Raimondo campaign basically blasting the earwaves with negative, negative, negative on Alan Fung, and I think it's having an effect right now. It's a similar story for Republican turned independent Joe Trillo. Only 19% of voters have a favorable opinion of him, 53% unfavorable, 28% aren't sure. A majority of the voters have an unfavorable opinion of Joe Trillo. I think all the negative press he's gotten the last few weeks, I think it's really started to have an impact on his campaign. In the head-to-head -head matchup, unlike our last poll, Raimondo now leads with all age groups. The middle age group, she was trailing by a couple points last time. Now she's winning by a couple points. Despite the negative opinion most voters have of Joe Trillo, our poll shows he was able to inch up support in the race from our last survey from 7 to 9 percent. But Mike and Shannon, we should note this poll comes with a margin of error of 4.8 percent. Thanks, Tim. You know, this close to the election, is this it? Are these voters locked in when we get these kind of results? Yeah, and you're right. This is an important question, especially this close to an, an election. We call it strength of support. For those who say they are voting for a candidate, could they change their mind? And we ask that very question. We'll have the results for you tonight at 6 o'clock. All right. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, Steph. Your Eyewitness News is your local election headquarters, and tonight we're bringing you results from our exclusive Eyewitness News Roger Williams University poll. As we first revealed on Eyewitness News Live at 5, our exclusive poll finds incumbent Gina Raimondo has expanded her lead in the governor's race. And our poll finds if the election were held today, 45% of voters would choose Raimondo. 34% say Republican Alan Fung. 9% choose independent Joe Trillo. 8% aren't sure. Three other candidates each polled under 2%. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White joins us now live in studio. Live at 5, we asked uh, Tim if voters are locked in. There's eight days to go. That, you asked that question, right? We did, uh, and we found that most people have their mind made up in this one, but there are some who say they could have a change of heart before they walk into that voting booth. 416 likely voters in our exclusive Eyewitness News Roger Williams University poll give incumbent Governor Gina Raimondo an 11-point lead over Republican Alan Fung. Breaking down Raimondo voters, 70% say they are definitely voting for her, 15% say it is unlikely they will change their mind, but 11% say there's a good chance they could change their mind. Most voters are locked in for the governor. I don't see a great deal of her support moving away from her. The same thing can be said with Alan Fung. Fung has slightly stronger support from his voters. 73% say they are definitely voting for him. 16% say they probably won't change their mind. 9% say there is a good chance they could change their mind. It would be very tough at this point. Eyewitness News political analyst and pollster Joe Fleming says for those who pick Republican turned independent Joe Trillo, his support is softer. About 36% of the voters said there's a good chance they could change who they're voting for in the election eight days from now. And there's also another 12% who said they weren't sure what they're going to do. So that is almost half of Joe Trillo's voters that could move away from him. 
So the question is, if those votes move away from Joe Trillo, where do they go? Mike and Shannon, the conventional wisdom is those votes would go to Republican Alan Fung. Now this is, Tim, our fourth poll this season. And back when we did one in February, the governor's race was up in the air. Of course, since then, the airwaves have been loaded with ads right. from the political candidates. We've had news stories, lots of coverage. Um, so what's happened since then? You know? Well, it, the, the story I think here is the governor has been able to improve her numbers while Alan Fung just just hasn't moved the needle. He had 36% support in February, the poll you just talked about, and it's at 34% today. That's with a margin mm -hmm. of error of 4.8%. The governor went from 38% to 45%. All right, Tim White, thanks so much. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 11, we release the results of the U.S. Senate race. And how Rhode Islanders feel about the Kavanaugh confirmation. Much